Hi, my name is Jack Smith, and I'm the inventor of the Glide Lock, and I'm gonna show you how to install the Glide Lock. The tools you will need is a Glide Lock, a pencil, a screwdriver, and a drill. So you're gonna put the Glide Lock on top of the door with the U-shape facing out, just over the doorknob, about six inches from the outside edge. With a pencil, mark the spot where you're going to drill the hole. Break out your drill and drill an eighth of an inch pilot hole in the door frame in the spot that you just marked. Slide the peg over the screw and screw it into the top of the door frame until it's hand tight. Now when you close the door, the glide lock will slide right over that peg and your door is now secure. There are tips and tricks when installing the glide lock when it's not a perfect installation. So the first one is, if the glide lock does not slide smoothly on the door, I use a votive candle and use the candle wax to lubricate the friction points on the door and the glide lock. If the space between the top of the door and the door frame is too tight, I use a belt sander on top of the door to take off just a millimeter so that there's clearance for the glide lock. If the door fits too tight against the door frame, I use a small rubber bumper to create a tiny gap so that the glide lock will slide smoothly. If you're installing the glide lock on a door that has weather stripping, the weather stripping may need to be removed, but you're only taking off about six inches. When you're installing the glide lock on an exterior door, you will probably need to remove the space bar. If you have problems with the glide lock sliding too far in one direction or the other, I use the small rubber bumper again to stop the glide lock from sliding. If the peg will not stay secure in the door, you may need to get a longer screw to screw into the door frame. If you still have concerns installing the glide lock, please email us at the email provided at the bottom of the instruction sheet and we'll do our best to help you install it correctly.